Welcome to my channel about robotics, fish technique and embedded systems. If you're new to this channel or haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. This video is focused on my ESP32 embedded systems device uh, with lots of options and um, this uh, video is centralized about on these two motors. A fish technique motor which is pulse width modulation driven and a servo motor which is also driven by pulse width modulation. And the results of the last few episodes are not very promising because there is some pulse width modulation but not varying as I want. And if you know pulse width modulation then you can see that the signal is widening with speed and no, it's not widening at all. So um, at times it runs, uh, primarily this one, and last time I tested this one and it is functional with the Fisitechnik um, power controller like this one. So if I connect this one to the motor, this motor, then it is fully functional. So why not now? Um, I'm trying to find out. So, in order to do that, I have to show code hands um, coming up screencast. So, last time um, I had a problem with almost everything, um, including running the motors. Uh, would my software work? Yes, the drivers turned out to be all installed. So, what's the problem? Um, let me do run the software. And lifting this part, so now it's writing everything to run a max of memory. Let me fix the camera a bit. And here you can see that everything is running, except that server print test one, that's the buzzer. The LCD test that's no longer connected, but that's not a problem. This should make both motors run, and they don't. I don't have to oscilloscope attached right now, but there will be no difference. So I've got to find out why this is. And by searching the internet, I have found yet another way of um, programming the uh, pulse modulation. And, well, there are uh, steps with uh, a method that I used before, which is writing to flash. I want something that is compatible with my method currently used, or with the method I currently use, which is writing to random access memory, which is quite different. It uh, requires um, setting up LED uh, C attached pin and LED C set up. LED uh, C is for light emitting diode control. Well, this is an LED and then control by attaching to pin and channel or more appropriate attaching a pin to a positive modulation channel and then setting it up to channel frequency and resolution and next is using for a server control and write. If this works out, this one should run. And I think the camera is out of focus. Okay, that's better. Go. Hopefully no errors.
and then hopefully I finally have a servo motor that actually is functional. But you never know. And I realized I forgot a delay. I need to have a delay set to make it happen as well. Or has it already done something? No, it hasn't done anything yet. So I have to put a delay here and let's make it 500, half a second. Should be quick enough. And if this is not working out, I will take um, just a while loop to make it rotate because I think this is a bit too short and no it doesn't do anything once again so I'll change this into a while loop with small steps like I have done here or for loop let's do that Right, um, an oscilloscope attached and the while cycle implemented. Just copied from uh, a website that I found on this and let's see how this ends up. Well, I get a nice tidy duty cycle right now. Um, I forgot to put a nice statement here to tell where I am but I've already passed it and it has done something because this has changed position. Now not looking at the result but at the motor. Will it actually do something? I'm afraid it doesn't do it while I'm looking at it. So that's a disappointment. Okay, I have to check the code and change the code accordingly. So I know where I am, when I am at it. Okay, it is running somehow. Question is, how is it running? That's a big question right now. Because I'm not looking at something that I can place. Well, that's to say. Okay, it stops now. It has stopped. It has not started again and right now it has passed the new part of the algorithm. So was the coincidence? I hope, uh, I hope not but I'm afraid so because there's no pulse of modulation here anywhere. Not here, not here, not here. 
I don't like that at all. So, um, both ways of activating the pulse modulation, being this new one and being this remaining one, are not functional for me. Which is very strange. No compare, no compilation errors, no code errors that I can see. So what do I do? Start again. That may be an option. Can I start it? Can I stop it? I cannot. I can't stop it. I can just re-upload and then try again. Let me do that. See whatever happens then. Because this is not nice. The motor that obviously is functional, but in what way is it functional? And for time's sake I should cut all uh, no longer used um, code from it, from the LCD to the keypad. Let's see. Um, Okay. I, do, I believe the buzzer, yes, I want to see the rest. Here I should see something uh, which I do not see. So unfortunately it doesn't work. It's not functional, unfortunately. I have to make up something different. So that's it for now with another as not functional um, attempt to get the server motor running. Thanks for watching. If you like this video anyway, uh, please do subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up and click the bell to get notified for new videos. Of my channel. You can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram and you can also support by either uh, donating via PayPal or becoming a patron uh, starting at only two euros or dollars. Uh, I don't know exactly what patron does. This is obviously going to be continued so for now stay safe, um, take care, have a great day, bye.